Good morning, everyone. I'm here with the last video of the day, and I decided to do the lip bars straight out of peace, straight out of patience, sorry. Smudge proof eyeliner with Jehovah Oil and Aloe Vera. I have hypersensitive eyes. Like my eyes are, I put eye drops in before I start even putting eyeshadow on. My eyes have been since the majority of my life. I've been looking for a really good black eyeliner that does not irritate my eyes. I do not wear black eyeliner every day. Um, just because I wish I could. <laughs> I used to wear some today. Um, but that was to kind of show you guys how fabulous I did a Get Ready With Me video. I'm hoping I get that edited soon. To show you guys just how fabulous this eyeliner really is. This is probably the only eyeliner I'll be able to wear every day and it not irritate my eyes. And I've had this about a year. It says it has a 12 month lifespan. And this is how much I've used up. I used to be a um, black eyeliner person. Like back in my early 20s, I'm 30 now. And I used to wear it all the time. My eyes would always be dry, irritated, would get in my eye, would bother my eye. However, it also would not be black enough. However, this one is black enough. Look at that. And you can smudge this out too. I'm just showing you guys. It's black. It can be smudged out. I know a lot of people want to know, okay, can it be smudged out? Does it stay in place? It actually does. It's very creamy. It's very, very, very creamy. It um, doesn't dry into your eyes in like little black pieces. You know, black pieces normally get in your eye like as it dries, it gets kind of crusty. Doesn't do that. And it does actually come off. So it's, I'm using a baby wipe to take it off. It does come off, but once you put it in the waterline, it normally stays. If my eye tears up, um, black stuff does not run out of my eye. Because my eyes will water and tear. Um, I haven't had any issues with this eyeliner. And I have to say, I'm quite impressed. And I don't know why this eyeliner is not talked about as much as it is. I know that there was a lot of hype um, around a lot of the lip bar products. But I'm noticing that people, like some of the really good brands are not being talked about. The brands that are like non-problematic, that keep innovating, that keep changing, that keep bringing something that is worth supporting, worth buying in the beauty community. Those don't get talked about. It's always like the drama-based brands that this black on or not, that's really what goes on. And it's quite sad because there are really good brands out there who are just not about drama. But I know a lot of people are about clicks and views. And I wish that would just stop and that we just support the brands that really do bring positivity to the platform. And this is one of those brands. Non-problematic. Um, congratulations them. This is their 10th year being um, a business, being successful, still going. They have defied the stereotype that, you know, most uh, businesses end up. Um, ending or going bankrupt or closing within the first seven years. They don't even make it to the seven year mark. Um, they've made it beyond that. And I commend them for striving even in the face of adversity. So I thought it would be kind of um, prompt to, to put this video up today for them because today is actually their official 10 year anniversary. So shout out to the lip bar. Um, but if you haven't gotten this, you should, I believe this is $10. I believe that this is what this is but I just want to point that out because um, this brand really is a really really positive brand and there's nothing negative there's like no no bad PR no negative no nothing negative coming from this brand and I also want to get a shout out on the 10th anniversary so that is it for the review I do like this if you have sensitive eyes I would say you should totally get this and buy this I will see you guys in the next video bye